Well, welcome to another edition of my little channel here. And I've actually had quite a lot of people lately asking me about the B38 and B48 engines. And I've had uh, for a couple of months now with my little parts uh, box some sprockets. And I'm going to go through, if you see these fault codes as you can see on the screen there, they're not so good really. And you're going to see as you're watching to the video exactly what that issue is. What we've got on the screen for now though basically is a oscilloscope trace and I do use a scope quite often in my job although not so much lately and I thought I would just give you an example of what the Vanos looks like under an oscilloscope when we are using in the blue trace the intake camshaft position sensor the red trace the exhaust camshaft position sensor got a bit of a valve overlap though you can see a slight overlap or otherwise known as internal EGR it's good for emissions there's more of an overlap there and that's pretty normal in BMWs actually and everything even like the old s62 the one i've been working on with the m5 that has it as well even on the v8 and it's just a good way to to reduce your emissions so it's good to see that on a scope in my eyes what we can also see is if you look at my other video i did a long time back about looking for timing chain problems if you unplug the vanos solenoids and then start the engine what that should do is should allow the vanos sprockets to remain in their initial position according to the return spring principle and if they both line up exactly just like that there now you know for a fact you've definitely not got any stretch in your timing chain usually we'll have one where say that intake blue trace might be to the right of the red trace which would mean that if everything was working okay and it was just a stretch chain that's how you would identify it so that's why scopes are really mega mega useful but this job is really really quite an unusual one because I'd never seen this fault before and I thought I'll show everybody because some of you guys and gals out there you might have one of these cars or you might be a mechanic and you might work on one you might see those fault calls that we saw for camshafts jamming and not in the right position and stuff like that and the reason for that is quite simple what I found as I, as I went through this um, the screen filter on the the bolt what holds the Vanos uh, sprocket to the camshaft it it broke off on mine on the exhaust one on this particular engine and the reason we can use a scope is although in this case it doesn't really show it because this um, was probably done post repair if I remember rightly it could be useful to see where it is if you have a known good trace you can compare what you've got and you would probably see it jamming at some point and it, you know it doesn't actually do anything that it's supposed to do so what we'll do we'll go into that and I'll show you exactly what I found and I'll give you a little bit of a demo how the Vanos sprocket works and it's really quite simple you've got four tips which seal it and then it'll advance and retard by putting the oil pressure on one side taking it away and applying it on the other side and it's been like that for years most manufacturers have a similar system so let's have a, a closer look at that now and this could be a lifesaver for you this and uh, help you diagnose the issue so there's the screen filter on the intake bolt that was perfect condition there's basically nothing wrong with that at all as you can see there's no signs of anything breaking up and these are the actual sort of actuators you have an electric actuator in front of it which i'll show you at the end of the video and then that just pushes the hydraulic plunger but you need this filter this this filter this screen to stop debris getting in the delicate parts inside that's the exhaust one and as you can see i've no idea what happened it's like it's been torn out completely i have no idea to this day how that happened but i knew before I even replaced the parts that we had to change that and we had to change the sprocket as well but no one has any idea no one BMW has been able to tell me so we're all in the dark but that's what you need to look out for once you lock your engine up with the timing kit and unbolt that if you see that just change the van or sprocket as well because that little flap there's a little flap in there you can see and that sort of allows the oil to flow back and forth it's like a little poppet valve all that stuff it goes somewhere guess what it's going to go straight inside there and as i found out when i played with the vanos sprocket that's basically what happened it jammed up against the side of the wing tips and the bit that it jammed against well you'll see it in a minute it wasn't very pretty and not very obvious straight away actually the trouble with vanos is they've got a massive strong return spring in that once you undo it you'll just never get it back there's the wing tips there but we're going to a better view now so that's the sprocket as it looks obviously you pull the front of the sprocket off after one bolt it there's several bolts in there that was the intake one 
there's the spring that's actually released now to turn that back you'd have to turn that 360 degrees the opposite way and then hook it back in well you ain't gonna do that no matter how strong you are no one can do that you'd need a machine here's the main workings of the sprocket and it's got four tips a bit like a, a wankle rotary i suppose it's very much like a rotary engine isn't it and if you look at that that's the advanced retard mechanism there's nothing fancy about it it's just the same as like on a nissan or a toyota there's not really anything fancy about that it's um just a, a simple advance and retard system based upon the principle of hydraulic pressure however if we look a little bit closer to this you might spot something that ain't really what it uh, is what it's supposed to be and it's <laughs> there's something a bit amiss there and as you can see if you can spot it yet before i put the arrow on you'll probably notice now that it's fractured so one of the oil galleries where the wing tips are responsible for the advance and retard it's completely sheared off and what i suspect has actually happened is the bits have gone in between the believe it or not they probably just mashed up so fine into like a powder and they've gone in between the tip and the wall of the van or sprocket and it's just literally literally jammed it the hydraulic pressure has been pushing everywhere else on the other three chambers and it's just sheared it off it's just ripped it right off completely and it was a big shock for me that because that's been sat in my box now for quite some time and i haven't stripped it right down and it's only today when i made this video i thought i'd film the principle of how it works and i noticed it then probably because i've been so busy lately i didn't have time to strip it but there you are so that's your advance and retard though and you can see that that bit that's loose it will periodically after it was jammed initially and sheared off it will intermittently jam won't it because obviously it's you can't stay straight it's only by the force of the outer wall you can see it moving though it's moving kind of independently of the inner part so if you've got a b48 or a b38 that's absolutely what you need to be looking out for and it ain't the first one that i've heard about i've got some friends who've had the same thing happen to them so there you are that's why we were using the oscilloscope get a known good trace and you'll see it sticking and you just do a, a vanos test on ista or whatever tester you have it'll advance and retard it back and forth if you have a known good trace and you have your trace on your uh, suspect vehicle you'll spot that without even stripping it so then you can just order the vanos wheels and the bolts and everything like that before you um strip it and that way it avoids like inconvenience to the customer i suppose so there you are that's it short video but i think very important and there's a final look at it at our crazily sheared off base it's uh, incredible really if you think about it so i hope this video will help you in your fault finding endeavors and then you know that it's really easy just to ground an oscilloscope get a dual channel set up and plonk it in and hopefully you'll uh, spot this as soon as i spotted it thanks for watching please subscribe i'll give you all away all my trade secrets and more and more bmw tips every single week or two